kick it off to get us underway. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. The Aggies' offense will have the first possession of the game. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. First down for this offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. They'll run play action. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep ones. Unloads it left. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, even though that pass was incomplete, I wouldn't be shocked if this defense in the second half decides to play some deeper coverages. This offense has already shown they're willing to be aggressive, and they've got a lot of speed. Moving forward, this defense cannot afford to give up big plays in the past. And it's caught inside the 20. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Utah State! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off the speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he doinks it off the left upright. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. So Wisconsin's offense will get the ball for the first time. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Paul. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Back to pass. It's Mendoza. He looks that one in nicely. Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. One final play before the end of the quarter. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The freshman able to get home with the sack. 
That is a great job getting to the quarterback. And when you're playing in Camp Randall Stadium, one of the loudest atmospheres in all of college football, and your offensive line can't hear the snap count, and you've got dudes like T.J. Watt or J.J. Watt coming off the edge, it's not a lot of fun. It's not really fun for this quarterback right now either with this dude rushing. Trying to get behind the defense. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. He'll take another shot here. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Aggie! And there are times a quarterback and receiver just have the unspoken language. He's lined up to the left side. He's looking down. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The quarterback kind of just winks at him and says, I'm throwing you this post. You go get it. Go score a touchdown. Man, that is exactly what happened. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they stretch the lead to 13. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top, going 63 yards to the house. He'll start the return inside his five. Strikes the blow. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's a... And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And I love playing man coverage on the back end. Get in those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run the zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. The give to the back. And the Badgers will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic with his feet. Oh, he got loose. Big play for this offense if they get it to the 32. Utah State up tempo. To the air on first down. He uncorks a laser deep down the middle. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Utah State. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. On the move from inside is five. 